We are seconds away from a battle that can all come down to timing and surviving the odds. In a match that is sure to not disappoint. Oh, I've been looking forward to this Elimination Chamber since the roster was announced. Now, here we are. The very exclusive club of 22 Elimination Chamber winners will have another member after this match. But the 100 plus competitors who have fallen prey to this structure will grow far larger tonight. Here comes the big dog. Family legacy has a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. through this superstar's mind inside that ominous structure.
over 16 years, this structure has played host to WWE's greatest warriors. here tonight in this Elimination Chamber match. The only thing I'm willing to predict in a match like this is complete unpredictability. You just never know what's going to happen inside that demonic structure. Six superstars, one goal. Survive the Chamber. I can tell you that none of these competitors are happy to be in the chamber, but they all want to be here because the winner will be remembered forever. We have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world-class back in the 1980s. Starting to fill up inside the elimination chamber. Chamber. Locked inside. 
the unforgiving structure. This is the kind of mask that could change your entire life. Dozens of the toughest men and women in WWE history have braved this structure. And this combatant joins their ranks tonight. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. I certainly hope the architect has devised the master plan to survive not only the chamber, but the five other superstars awaiting. What an intimidating sight this chamber must be for all of these competitors. Byron, what strategy would you use if you were Seth Rollins? If you're Seth Rollins, you gotta use your quickness, you gotta use your speed to evade and conquer in this match.
the Balor Club. James D. Cool, John Wayne Tuff. The future is bright for the Irishman, Finn Balor. It's Elimination Chamber time, guys. Are you ready? You should know better than to ask me that, Cole. I'm always ready for the Elimination Chamber. I just hope these six superstars are ready because this will be about as brutal as it gets. I can't believe this match. I can't believe the superstars involved. This is going to be incredible. Despite growing in this business on separate continents, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins' career paths have mirrored one another in recent years. Yeah, they both know the pain of relinquishing a title, though I think both of these men are well past their injuries and back stronger than before. They're in a different place and time. Oh, <laughs> 
Looks like he's pinpointed the back. What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? Jeez. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. I love it. He's taking a beating, but refusing to stay down. Sometimes when you're in a match like an elimination chamber, that little extra adrenaline. Super punch! Here's a chance to win this. Finn Balor really needs to dig down deep and fast. Or get a shovel and call it a day. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. 
Uh-oh, that'll have you worried about long-term injuries for sure. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. And there's an extremely destructive strike. There's the chop. What is Seth Rollins' best strategy at this point? Here we go. That's by for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Check out Braun Strowman's offense. somebody win an elimination chamber match without getting a few bumps and bruises along the way. Never. That's when. Superman punch! Good night! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That is a huge opportunity for Roman Reigns. It seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously... Whoa, you have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. This one is over. Things do not look good for Finn. Cover here. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Roman Reigns put in Superman punch! But he's got to capitalize now! Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Extend your elbow. Seth Rollins needs to rethink his. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. He's in control now. 
Now Roman Reigns needs to capitalize on this opportunity. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to Roman Reigns. Superman punch! This could be the turning point, Cole. DDT drops him. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. It sure looks that way, Michael. Incredible! This has to be it. Watch out, Roman Reigns is on the attack now. point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. What's he got in mind? Oh, what a gut buster. Elias definitely tiring out there. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Looks to me like he's wishing he was back in his palm. At least in there, he was safe from the beating he's taking. Oh, man. Look out here. already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely no good can come of that yeah you really want to wait for the exact right time if you go for it and miss that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for what's roman reigns put superman punch here's his chance Can he do it? 
this one's not over yet. Hey, I guess you never know. side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. And there's the cover! It stops the count. Seth Rollins is in position. Seth Rollins is rolling now. And this has got to be it! One. Two. Bye bye, Elias. Braun Strowman is a force within the ring. Man, Braun Strowman, what offense. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. From what heights? This one's over, guys. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? What is keeping this competitor going? Oh, that was close. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say... And here's the monster of a man, Corey. Look at the power! Oh! Hellacious power slam! That's when you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. What a slam, Michael. Shoulders down. Is it enough? And he kicks out. He needs to change something fast, guys. Oh. 
flattens him with the close line. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Here's the cover for the win! Cole. And he lands a savage elbow. Oh, Seth got him there. Big move by the architect. He's making a statement here with this attack. Seth Rollins coming in. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. This man needs business. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. Anytime to select Roman Reigns, Superman punch! Rollins fans have plenty to worry about here. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? The ref's out. No good can come of this, Michael. He's inflicting some serious pain here. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's, now that got those shoulders on the mat.
He wants no part of the outside. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. What's Roman Reigns? Superman punch! Good night! I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. It's like deja vu all over again. He's just playing classic offense here. Let's Roman Reigns put it together here. And he blasts him through the pod as it disintegrates right in front of us. Just an awesome shoulder tackle. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Things look dire for Braun Strowman. Seems to be guys like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Ron Strowman is getting ready here. The shoulders are down. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Amazing. What's Roman Reigns? Superman punch! That has got to be it. in a hurry. Look at Roman Reigns here. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Well, Roman Reigns may have it, and he put it through that reinforced plexiglass. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. He goes for the cover. Two, three, three. What a 
a decisive victory for Roman Reigns. Just incredible. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! Well, that one was over before it even started. Now you've just got to take the win and build off it. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.